this is Sheen Talk Live with Kim Chapman. And Sammy Haynes. And we're here with the beautiful Angel Love of the Basketball Wives of L.A. Hi. Hey, hey, hey. Hi. So happy to be here with you guys. Thank you. Good to have you here. Yes. It's our pleasure to have you here. I'm excited. I'm you know, excited too. One of the things I have to say about you, I think you are a strong woman. Thank you. Thank you. When I you. saw the way that you stood up for yourself at the basketball wise, basketball wise reunion, oh. I was like, okay, Angelo, you came through. You know what? <laughs> yes. With yes. no hesitation. Like yes. you were straight up. Like yes. I love that part of the reunion. I love that part of you. Thank you. I, and I, you know what? It's just to the point where you just take so much yeah. and you're going through so much constantly. You have to stand up. And I, you know what? I stood my ground throughout the whole season. Don't yeah. get me wrong. Yeah. But I try not to curse. I try not to get out of my character. <laughs> but at the reunion, I had to let have. No, you let have. I had to. I had to. Because do during, <laughs> during the season you did, you were... You didn't, you know, you didn't throw as much yeah. hate or shade or doing all that right. cussing and fighting as, you know, some others did. But at the reunion, you let them know, like, Angel Love ain't nobody to play with, though. Don't yeah. get it mixed up. Because I came in, I wanted <laughs> to give everybody the benefit of the doubt. I wanted to make friends, and I wanted them to see a great side of me. Not come in, like, being judgmental, even though, you know, they, some people on the cast maybe treated my friend Angel Brings, you know, a little tough or a little Ooh. difficult. So I came in just trying to figure it out for myself and not be judgmental. Yeah. So that's what I did, but at the same time, now I see what the situation was, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you strong, because I tell you, yes. even Angel, Angel um, brings your friend, it was just like, God, how much can you take? But I don't want to talk about her. Let's talk about you. Yes. <laughs> so was it like you being like almost inducted into like the Mean Girls Club? That's what it felt like. <laughs> Shit. That's what it felt like to me. I'm like, what the hell? It's a crazy haze. Like, I'm, what? It, we all grown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But what you're not going to do is disrespect me. You're right. not going to talk to me that kind of way. You're going to respect me. I'm a person. I'm talking to you correctly. That's what I reserve, deserve back from you. Right. So, yeah. But so I tell us, how, how did you get into the whole Basketball Wise LA? Just give us a little backdrop of who is Angel Love. Um, Angel Love. Uh, I'm a nurse. I have a daughter named Heaven Blair. Um, that's my Heaven. everything. Yeah. He at Angel her. and Heaven, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Still a duo. Um, but yeah, my uh, baby father, Dewan Blair, he plays for Washington. Yeah. And uh, I'm a basketball fiance, girlfriend, wife, and I just fit really good with the cast. So they asked me to join it, and that's how you get Angel Love from Basketball Wives. Wow. wow. So your daughter, how old is she? She's two. Oh, wow. Yeah. Precious. Yeah, she is adorable. She's amazing, but it's just terrible tools right now that's going mm. on. And I got to get it together. <laughs> it's a lot. How do you balance it all? You should have a lot going on. Yeah. Um. God, give me the strength. Because mm. without him, I don't know where I'll be, what I'll be doing. Um. But he gives me the strength to keep it moving. Um. I have Badass Brown Chicks, which is one of my yeah. businesses. Mm -hmm. And basically, it just encourages women of color. Right. And just to let them know, like, I am a leading by example Whatever you want to be in life, you can do that. Yeah. Growing up in the South, you may have heard, oh, you're cute to be a dark-skinned girl. Oh, <laughs> and that ain't really like a cool thing to say. Right. So it's not that I'm pretty to be a dark-skinned girl. I'm just a beautiful woman, period. Right. And I don't want anyone that has low self-esteem about the color of their skin that they can't excel in life. You can do whatever you want to do with God mm -hmm. and you just putting that work behind it. So came up with Badass Brown Chicks. Let's go, badass brown chicks. <laughs> go, go, go. Yes. So um, <laughs> that's something that I'm working on. And Life Angels. So I'm a registered nurse and just putting on the same boring scrubs every day. You know, kind of alters your mood. So I want to be happy. I want to feel good, look good. So I created Life Angels. And that's basically a fashion forward scrub line. And I just want all my cute girls in the hospital <laughs> to look fly. We can't wear Gucci and Louboutin in the hospital, so why not be right. Life Angels? Right. So that's how I feel. If we could, so you are practicing nursing? Yes. Oh, yes. Wonderful. I do a lot of travel assignments. Yeah. Okay. I started off in the ER. Right now, I'm working oncology with the cancer patients. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's you know kind of puts you through toes. But the good thing about it is you're helping. You helping right. save a life. You helping to see your patient get better. Days and days go by. So um, I'm excited about that. So. So now, what exactly is? Um, um, badass brown cheeks. Um, it's it's my my apparel. It's sweatshirts, hoodies, jogging suits. You can find it at www.badassbrownchicks.com, and it's just a apparel line. Really cute, pink, gold, flashy, glitter, glitz and glam. So it's active wear. Uh, Mostly? it's loungewear. 
Okay. Like if you want an airport, grocery store, mm. you can wear it in the club. It's cute. We got the hoodies. We got the jogging suits, the velour jogging suits. We have the sweatshirts. We have t-shirts. And um, well, that sounds like stuff I would wear. Yes. I love what I call comfort clothes. Yeah, that me too. Me too. I, I love, love to just lounge around and have something I can feel good in. It's really soft, nice material. And um, one of my designs, I have a silhouette of a woman. And inside of that woman, it's just different names like bold, intelligent elegant, classy, everything that a woman stands for and the things that we need to survive and the things that you're made of. Yeah. So just keep it pushing, so. Oh, wow. wow, you're so much beyond what they said. Oh, you're just a video vixen girl. Lies, they tell, uh -huh. no. <laughs> Right, they tell, it's like, but... wow, okay, Angel Love is more than a video girl. Right, no, Angel Love is way more than a video girl. That's just, you know, that's a hobby. That's something yeah. I like to do. And yeah. for me to have that as a hobby, women would love to do that. I mean. Mm -hmm. I don't think nothing's wrong with it. I'm very proud of what I've done. I'm very proud of to be able to grace like really major artist videos for right. my beauty. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm I'm just super excited. I'm I'm happy. I mean, I've done Dice Pineapples. I've done. I've worked with Kanye. I've worked with uh, Rick Ross. I've worked with uh, Future, Lenny Kravitz, Common. Like really, really great you have a artists. Nice oh, wow. dossier. Yes. <laughs> That's, Thank you. That's why when I saw you stand up for yourself, I was like, this woman, you won yes. in that moment yes. because that was your truth. Mm -hmm. And also it was your moment where you said, you know, I can't take it no more of this right. stuff. But right. I love you really owning your truth because you, you again, represent, at the end of the day, you represent the strength mm -hmm. that black women possess on a daily basis. Yes. It doesn't matter who you are, what you do, yeah. you still got to stand for your you, own. Yes, you have to stand up for yourself. And don't let anybody push you around. I mean, those people are out there. They're going to try to bully you. They're going to try to put you in a certain, you know, corner to mm -hmm. be able to not to defend yourself. But stand up for yourself, stay in your ground, and don't fall for anything. So what is your message when, when young ladies or women see you on the show? What, what message do you want them to really get from Angel Love? Um, that you don't have to be all rowdy, you don't have to jump across tables, throwing bottles and all that. Stay on your ground, stay classy, get an education. That's my major thing. Like, yes, we can be pretty, we can do videos, we can do the clubs, all that, but you need something to stand on. You right. have to have something on your belt, you know? And so at the end of the day, when I'm like old and you know, I'm getting not as cute as I am That's right no now. Time soon. But you know, <laughs> you know, I got something I can go back to the hospital. Like mm -hmm. basketball wives is something that I'm contributing to. You know, I have something. I have a substance that I'm bringing to the world to see that I'm not just a pretty girl. You know, I, I have businesses. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a nurse. I'm saving lives, and I'm gracing videos. <laughs> Work, as they say, work, work, work. Yes. So what should we expect this season? Um, hmm, I can't tell y'all. We're going to stay tuned, though. Yeah. I mean, like last season, we had a really great drama-filled season. Um, Basketball Wives, I love it. I have created great relationships with um, a lot of the women that's on the cast. Um, even Tammy, I just remember um, just recently I had a lost of my brother got killed in New Orleans, and my mm. grandmother passed away like three days later, and me and Tammy you know, gained a rapport, and like soon as that happened, she was on the phone, like, Angel, I'm on my way, girl. Like, I will be there by your oh, side, I whatever I need to do. And by her showing me that, like, she is an amazing person. So um, I have gained a lot of great relationships, so I'm, I'm really happy about that as well. Wow. Are you able to take your daughter with you when you're on set? Uh, no, no, she don't need to see all that. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. mm -mm. <laughs> Some stuff the baby can't see. Uh -uh. <laughs> yeah, because there are a lot of mofos. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. you, know? <laughs> you never know what you're getting when you get on set. Yeah, you don't yeah. know where these women come. And I like to keep my daughter protected. Mm -mm. Yeah, because I thought it was very bold of Tammy to bring her daughter as a part of this season. And there are a couple times, you know, she had to be like, I think it's Hold amazing. On, Jasmine, yeah, man. yeah. Right. I'm the mama. Let me take care of right. it. But Jazz is a strong girl and she knows yeah, how to handle herself is. as well. Um, but she's a great artist yeah, and I'm yeah. really her music is amazing. Yeah, she performed for our legendary weekend what? Um, this year. Okay. So yeah, we have ever experienced Jazz. Yes. yes. All yeah. I want. That's the <laughs> yeah. song. All I want. You got it All down. I want. Yes. <laughs> so with us approaching Thanksgiving. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm so happy. Thanksgiving. I, I just like the holidays, period. Really? Yeah, I mean, it's sad that I'm not going to have my grandmother. Like, she's amazing. She did all the cooking. Yeah. 
She was the chef. She was a seamstress. So not having my grandmother and my brother, it's going to be a little sad for our family. But um, the most part, we're going to all come together. We're going to make this work. We're, I'm thankful for my daughter. I'm thankful for my family. And I'm thankful that God is just blessing me with opportunities. And I'm thankful to even be here with you guys. Well, we thankful that you came. <laughs> Thank you. That's what we really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Even with Christmas coming around, you know, we asked our last couple of celebrities, like, what do you do to give back mm -hmm. to to those who are less fortunate than yourself? Also, I have um, an organization that I'm forming as of right now. It's called Wings of Angel, and it's for battered women, um, less fortunate kids, and the homeless. So me and my mom, we get together, we go and feed the homeless, we buy blankets, um, and I extend my time to the community also as well. Like, um, coming up, I'm speaking at elementary schools in New Orleans, I'm speaking at high schools, and just encouraging women to get out there, I'm sorry, young women, you know, in high school, to get out there and believe in yourself. Whatever your dreams is and whatever I can do as a person to help you, please, by all means, let me know. And my handle on Instagram is I Love Angel 2 um, Twitter, I Love Angel 2 and if they want to send me messages or however I can help anybody, please, I want to be that person. Because... I mean, at times, I didn't really have the help that I needed. I mean, I've kind of figured out a lot of things on my own. So um, I don't want the next person to go through that because I've been through a lot in life. And if I have to share my stories, which are really deep, I'm willing to do that as well. So hopefully you'll see that on the next season. Wow, you said your stories are really deep. Yeah. I want to die. We, um, we have to come back. Oh, yeah. It's, you have to come yeah, back. It's so a lot. Dive a little it's more a lot with Angel Love. To so. appeal. Yes. It's really a lot. Really it's right. very, it's you a lot. You got any videos coming up? Uh, music videos? Yes. Um, mm -mm, not right now. I'm working on my, uh, on my scrub line, Life Angels. Okay. So that'll be dropping right before Christmas. And to get a hold of that is shoplifeangels.com. Okay. And the same thing is for Instagram, shoplifeangels.com. Wow. Yep. You're an entrepreneur. Let's and get it. Got to get this money. Uh, badass chicks? <laughs> um, no, that's Life Angels. That's my that's scrub line, my nursing right. scrub line. And Badass Brown Chicks is badassbrownchicks.com. Okay. Yep. Is there anything else we need to know as um, far as um, how to get in touch with you on social media? Yeah, um, social media, it's uh, I Love Angel the number two, and that's Instagram. And the same thing as for Twitter, I Love Angel the number two. Wow. Yep. <laughs> what is your favorite beauty regimen? I have to ask. Are you so prepared? Oh my God, you take a bath, you know, wash your face every day. <laughs> <laughs> No. Did you say take a bath? <laughs> yeah, take, take a, a bath. bath. Watch your face. I use Dove. You know, like. Is it any particular day? Um, every day <laughs> in the morning and at night. That take is a new. Bath. I know you told. Would you be ready? Take, take a, a bath. bath. <laughs> Love it. Just like, okay, yeah, it's, it's good. But I, you know what? I love, love, love. It's Arm and Hammer's uh, bacon little <laughs> toothpaste. Man, I brush my teeth at least four or five times a day because I don't know the the taste. Um, the the bubbles I don't know it just does something for my for my five times a day. I don't know I'm hooked on this baking soda oh it might gosh. be too much baking soda. <laughs> yes. girl what the baking soda in a toothpaste <laughs> so I'm gonna try this out yes just you say four yes or five times yes a day. I do I really love and I add extra baking soda to toothpaste oh, wow. I like it it's really good it's the best <laughs> stuff that they invented like I, that's one of my beauty regimens <laughs> and that's just being blunt totally honest I don't know if that's too much. <laughs> Okay. Exactly. <laughs> well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Very... So, do you have any special plans for Thanksgiving? Um, my family is coming in town. I have a, a lot of family that's um, coming in town. We're gonna play games. Um, we're gonna play a little maze, Frankie Beverly. You know that old, like school, old school stuff. Oh yes, it's good for your soul. Yeah. That's that good music. That's right. I love old school. Yes. Any day, it. every day. Yes, Luther Vandross, <laughs> Anita, the Temptation. big yes. Sinners. Yeah, she go. Yeah, all right. <laughs> You should know it. You should know it. <laughs> my grandma also I was raised with my grandmother, uh -huh. and she she definitely installed it in me. So. Oh wow, I got you. Wow. Yep. Well, wow. this has been nice. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank yes. you. Thank so you much so much. much. You're welcome. We'll have to get to get with you again. Yes. I'm yes. sure we will. We'll see more of Angel Love. Yes. And we look forward to the Basketball Wives of L.A. Yes. Yes. See what's going on. What's yes. Gonna happen? Yes. Who's yes. gonna get it next? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't coming. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs>